Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to set up a ticket toolbot on your Discord server. And this is gonna be the website that I want you to access. So this is gonna be the link, tickettool.xyz, and this should be the landing page you should be seeing on your end. Once you're here, I just simply want you to click on this button, Invite Ticket Tool, this blue one right here. So I'm gonna click on it right now, and it should redirect me on this Discord invite. Now basically for this one, you just need to select your server, now I'm gonna go with my server right there and click on continue. Once I'm here, I want to make sure that I don't give it as a admin role. As you can see right here, I have manage roles, manage channels. There is no administrator role right here. And click on authorize and wait for it to um, finish this captcha. And basically it should be opening up discord, clicking this button right here, go to tutorial and it should show it like this. Now, once you're in Discord server after authorizing the um, ticket tool, I want you to click on your Discord settings, click on server settings right there, and you should open up this choices. Now, find roles on the side, this one right here, and find the ticket tool role. It should be on the very bottom section, this one right here. Now, if you found it, just drag it on the top section, just beneath that mid journey board right there, or around the middle part right here. Now, as you can see right here, it's on the second part, and I'm going to click on Save Changes right now. Now, once you're moving up that ticket tool, next thing is going to be creating a role. Basically, we're going to create a staff role. It will be the one replying to the tickets. Now, to create one, simply click on that board Create Role right there. Click on it, and then basically, name the role. For this one, I'm going to go Staff Role, so just for discussion purposes. And then I'm going to choose a color. I'm going to choose a very bright one, so I can identify it very quickly. And I'm not going to use an image, I want it to be default, but if you want, please do so. And then, you can choose if you want to enable um, your role members separately from online members, but I'm not going to do it here. And I'm going to make sure this button right here is disabled. I don't want to click this button that says, allow anyone to mention that this role. And basically with that one, I'm going to save on changes. Before I proceed on permissions, I just want to make sure everything is good on the display. Now, under permissions, I want you to click on that clear permissions. If it's clickable, make sure you click on the text. But if it's not clickable, as you can see right here, it means it's good to go. Now, that being said, just move up this um, staff row a little bit in the top section, just behind that ticket tool, just below that ticket tool. But for me, I'm going to move it on the second part right there. Click on save changes. Now, once you're here, after exiting that settings, I want you to click on the left side and simply click on create category. And from here, we're just gonna name it, let's just say support or staff support. Just a similar name right there and make sure you click on private category and click on next. Once you're here, I want you to make sure you click this following roles. First is staff role, next is ticket role, and next one is gonna be the members. So you can choose the members you wanna click. For example, I wanna click on mid journey right there and make sure you enable the ticket tool also. That's very important. Now, if you're satisfied with this one, simply click on Create Category right here and place it as you do fit. So as you can see right there, since I don't only really have staff support here, I don't have anything else, I'm going to state it as it is. But if I have different support roles or categories, I can place it on the upper section of my Discord. Now, after adding that um, support channel or staff support category, I want you to simply right click on it and edit it. We're going to compromise it or um, fix it. So permissions right there, make sure it's going to be toggled for at everyone. And just look for this specific category. Now scroll down a little bit until you see read message history. Make sure this is enabled, click on save changes, and close the application. So once you're here, you're back here, I want you to click on that plus sign icon beside that staff support channel or category we just created. And then basically type in staff support or staff text or similar. I'm going to go with staff ticket here. And basically, I'm going to click on Create Channel. Now, after adding that support channel, or rather, channel right there, text channel, I'm going to go back from earlier. The website on Ticket Tool, this one right here. And once I'm here, I'm going to make sure I'm Panel Configs on the left side. Click on it. So once you're in Panel Configs, click on Create One, this one right here. I'm just going to name the panel. Let's just say Support Panel. Because basically, we're creating a support server, right? Or support bot. So please choose a specific name or similar. Click on create and you'll see this option we're just going to add some commands in the specific um, panel configurations please follow the following commands that i add so click on the general option right there 
Now once you're here, expand this row right here, and you'll see this drop down choices. So look for the one you created earlier, the staff row right here. The one responding to the tickets, make sure you click on it. And now we're going to save the changes on this button right here. After saving, go back on this button right here, and we're going to click on category right here. Now once you're here, expand this category right here. It's going to be a drop down again and look for the staff support, the one we created earlier. Click on it and save. And then after saving, just click on back so we can back go back to the landing page. And once you're here, I want you to click on messages. Choose on edit panel message right here. Now once you're here, I want you to expand the embedded editor. And for example, this is going to be the default ticket or message. To create a ticket, react with emoji. Don't forget to always add that emoji. So I'm just going to edit the text here. For example, I'm going to say support bug. Or rather, report issue. Like so. Or glitch or something. And then basically make sure I still have that emoji. And basically this emoji right here, I'm going to name it by clicking this emoji. I'm going to create a ticket below. So make sure you always that have an emoji because that's going to be the trigger on our Discord. So after that, you're satisfied with it. Save on this button right here. And basically, same process. Click on go back button right there. And once you're here, click on permissions. Find that ticket owner permissions it should be the top right section. And click on edit open because there are two choices i want you to click on edit open now same process as the discord server find that read message history so it should be around here somewhere i'm just gonna look for it very quickly here this one right here so read message history make sure you enable it click on save and then go back to panel config section right here now once here i want you to click on send button right there now as you can see right here by default it has that general ticket channel so I want you to choose the one we created earlier, the staff ticket. Click on send. After sending, you'll see this green icon right there. We're going to go back to Discord. Now, as you can see, this button or this ticket message will show up. This is the one we created earlier. And as I mentioned, the emoji is a very important part. You'll see this button right here. By simply clicking on that create ticket, your members and staff or rather moderators can just simply click on this button and they're going to create a ticket. I'm going to click it right now just for example purposes. Now as you can see right there, once done, it will open a new channel. But for this one, only the server staff, the one we created earlier, the one we added, will be available on this section. Now once you're here, for example, it's already been resolved, the ticket. Staff members can simply close the ticket. And after closing the ticket, you can choose to close it right here for secondary opinion. And then click on close. And then basically once you're here, you can transcript or reopen the ticket. But however, if you want to really close it, for example, it's already been resolved, simply click on this delete button and it will delete the channel. So as you can see right there, the ticket will be deleted in a few seconds. And basically that's it. You've just taken your Discord to another level with the support channel right there. And anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.